Okay, we're talking about the Honda CRV EXL with navigation, fourth generation. Let's talk about it. All right, Ray, we're talking about the Honda. Honda EX, uh, CRV was pretty decent, no? Yeah, man. So it's a fourth generation Honda CRV. So, you know, Honda gave us, um, and they gave me, I actually contacted Jesse, uh, my wife, and reached out to her and said, listen, um, we'd love you to come down to um, California, San Diego specifically, and test drive the, the 2012 uh, Honda CRV. So she said, no, no. She said, absolutely. And uh, she shot out there. And she was able to test drive the CRV, which she absolutely loved. And she said it was a fantastic experience. Uh, the car handled very, very well. So when the car was available uh, for a test drive, they gave her the car for about a week. And we really, really enjoyed the car. I drove her for like a, like an hour while she drove her pretty much for the entire week. Um, and so the Honda CRV, we got the EXL uh, trim with navigation, which is, beautiful. Which is a leather package. But huh? very be- it's beautiful. Oh yeah, dude! It was it was unbelievable. It's a real nice leather package uh, with navigation, so it was pretty cool. And um, so you know, so let's go run down some of the specs here. Uh, we're talking about it's it's a it's a five passenger car uh, or CRV, uh, two point four liter engine. It's a five speed um, automatic transmission, twenty three thirty one um, city highway, eco assist, has Bluetooth, it has two gorgeous information screens. Um, let's see what else um, has SMX text text messaging function, which means that when you get a text message, the car will read it to you, so you're not like like you know like this on 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 your phone and you get into a car accident and you hurt somebody. <laughs> um, you are uh, it allows you to actually connect uh, Pandora from your smartphone to the car speaker system, so you can listen to Pandora. If you have an unlimited plan, obviously, because Pandora consumes a lot of data. Um, there are three trim levels. Um, it has Honda satellite link navigation, which is kind of cool. Um, so those are the stats, man. Wow, those are the stats. And uh, give me, give me the, uh, give me the pros on that. So the pros, you know, the car handled really, really well. Like you keep on calling it a car because it feels like a car, right? It just handled so, so extremely well. When you're making a left, making a right, parking the car, just. Did a really nice job, and it's very roomy. My son Matthew, he's three years old, um, sitting in the back seat, and we were when I would get out to get something, or my wife would get to get something, we would unbuckle him, especially if it's going to take a long time to get whatever we're getting, and he would just walk around back there, you know, on the floor, not not on the, on, the, on the seats, and he would just walk around, and it's just very 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 roomy. Um, again, you could play Pandora. My wife really appreciate that. You know, she would pull her iPhone and play Pandora through her iPhone into um, the car speaker system uh bluetooth hands-free which is kind of cool um my phone is paired uh, as well as as my wife's phone um we love the exterior it's just a good looking car now it's just extremely extremely good looking car um the outside noise was reduced significantly i think we test drove or we took a look at last year's model and uh it was still a little noisy uh but this year much much better and uh we just love the 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 rear view camera so when you're backing up the camera Get, uh, pops up in the information panel you can see right behind you the only thing I wish it had though is the fact that if you're getting close to something or closer to something it would beep that that never happened and uh, trust me I, I got really close to two <laughs> things I want to te- test everything out yeah sure testing um, <laughs> yes I love testing got close to babies dogs cats it didn't make a difference um, and as far as cons it was slow to accelerate uh. I found it to be kind of kind of odd. I had to give it a little bit of gas. I mean, I had to kind of like really, really give it give it some gas for the car to actually get up and go. Um, I found that the dual information screens were a little distracting every once in a while because they're 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 up and they're all displaying bits of bits of information. The center console is displaying information about you know, about the radio and, and what have you. Um, and the the top information screen is displaying information about the car, you know, about uh, fuel consumption, how quick the car is going, so on and so forth. So I found it to be a little bit distracting, uh, at, at least for me. Um, and the eco assist, I, I don't know how this thing actually works, right? <laughs> so it was on all the time. And it always said that we were driving, you know, eco friendly. 
So I would go really Even fast Jesse? and I would slam the brakes on and it would still say, hey, Ray, you're driving excellent. So I don't know if if just the car is that good and it like control the 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 energy being used or um, it was broken. Yeah. <laughs> and now that was also when Jesse was driving or no? Yeah, even when Jesse was driving. It's got to you know, be When Jesse was though. driving, though, there were times it turned white <laughs> on the outside, and then it turned green. Um, so I don't know. But then again, she drove the car before me, and she drove the car a lot more than I did. So maybe she just knew a trick or two. I don't know. I mean, I look at it. I, I'm a big fan of Hondas. I mean, I, I have the Honda Odyssey, of course. And uh, the CRV has always kind of been one of those vehicles that's – it, it tries to fit that mold between the two platforms, right? It's trying to be a, a full-size SUV, a miniature version of that, and then it's trying to appeal to the um, car market, the small car market. Uh, it's got a little bit of appeal, although it's only a five-seater, right? It's uh, it, it's got a yeah. little bit of an appeal toward the the the, uh, the larger families, um, a little older uh, generation. Yeah, I I, I I like the design of it. Uh, the, the this fourth generation is far superior, I think. Uh, it's more along the lines, I guess, of what you have right now. Your your Civic, they really tried yeah. to make this spaceship approach to the interior design. Yeah, it's real nice. I mean, it's, it's teched out and and it's just a really nice, comfortable ride. And uh, they, they took they took their time. Yeah. They made the car feel good inside, right. which I really appreciate from any any car manufacturer. But you know, specifically. The CRV, um, it just made it feel just. You you get in the car and you you, you know the the price points between twenty three thousand and thirty thousand. But you know, uh, for me, there were times when I felt like the car was worth more because I enjoy the car that much more. Now, how would you compare um, so, the um, the ride between, let's say, your Civic and the the uh, CRX or CRV? Well, the ride is uh, a better ride and it's actually more quiet. My Civic is a little noisy. So you can hear all the all the outside all the outside noise. You hear a lot of the outside noise and some of the engine rev. Um, with the CRV, um, much much better. With noise dampening, I'm not sure what the what the right term terminology is, but it's just noise dampening was much much better. Um, and you can still hear the engine rev every once in a while. Right. Um, but it wasn't anything that was like, oh my god, please stop. Um, they did a they did a nice job. Yeah, I I, f- I found that over the last let's say. Uh, two years, Honda's been upgrading uh, the majority of their of their cars, their designs, and some of the interior components as well. Get higher quality materials there. Um, a lot of times, I feel that Honda, as well as Toyota, were trying to use harder plastics, especially around the knee area. Whereas they're mm. they're starting to change that a little bit. A lot of their right. their upper level um, materials are are. are better padded the uh mm. the other thing that they they haven't really quite learned about is higher armrests you know we like we like driving high armrested yeah yeah no i, I agree with that yeah but the the, the crv had, had i mean we we we, we test drove the uh, the ford explorer the 2012 ford explorer and we were missing that armrest yes. on the left hand side but the crv i mean just just had them at the, at the right place the right the, the right height and everything so i i did appreciate that you know, I, I just I really have no complaints about the interior. I mean, it's 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 you know, it's not a perfect car, obviously. Right. You know what, what, but um, I'm not looking for a perfect car, and I don't think anybody is. I think the the average person who's spending you know twenty three thousand dollars between twenty three and and thirty thousand dollars, they just want a car they enjoy driving. And as far as the, the level of technology really... that you found, because you had we had the the Ford Explorer, which is a crazy technology powerhouse. Oh my god, that's a computer. You got the Equinox uh, that that has a lot of tech in it. So how does the CRV rate uh, in in that realm and that, and the, with those other candidates? I, I would say uh, in order of preference it would be uh, uh, Ford, Honda, and then uh, Chevy. In, in, in that order, I mean Chevy, you know. What made Chevy a great vehicle was, uh, was not necessarily Chevy was was OnStar. Right. Was what made Chevy a great vehicle. Um, what makes a Honda a good vehicle is the fact that it's it's a it's a CRV. It's, it's a fun to drive car and has nice tech. Right. And then just forget about the Ford. The Ford just you know it's on just, a whole another level. This this is like uh, this is like Hal on wheels. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like it's ridiculous how 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 insane. Um, uh, what Ford has done to uh, to its cars, 
But yeah, you know, and, and the only recommendation I can make to 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 Honda or, or, or anybody who's listening out there from Honda would be um, just when uh, that that multi angle rear view camera. I really wish there was some kind of audible alert um, uh, notifying me that listen, you're hey, you're getting too close to something. Um, you need to slow down. You need to take it easy. You know, keep an eye out. I really wish it did that. Uh, and unfortunately, it, it did not. So for me, that would be my only recommendation. Other than that, it's just a, a, a nice vehicle to drive. It's a vehicle to drive. Um, and that's pretty so, much it. So uh, what are we going to be giving this bad boy? We're giving this bad girl, bad boy, three remotes. Um, nice car. I I would definitely go out and purchase this car. I, I really would. Uh, I know I said that about the Ford, too. But that, but that means I would have to have a Ford and a Honda. I mean, go figure. That's rough. That's a rough one. Yeah. But I'll tell you, I, I am impressed with Tough Honda. I, I honestly love their their ride. I love their uh, their leather is, is awesome, uh, fantastic. Yeah, uh, their stuff. navigation system very good. So check it out for yourself and uh, let us know what you think. Rate, subscribe, subscribe to our newsletter, and uh, we will uh, see you next time. Gracias. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there.